नमस्कार अनादाब टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड एस्ट्रोलॉजर एंड गाइड इरफान वंस मो विथ यू फ्रॉम योर वेरी ओन चैनल एस्ट्रो एश्योरेंस वेन वी आर लुकिंग एट करियर एंड वेन वी आर लुकिंग एट वॉट कुड बी द एंड रिजल्ट ऑफ अ करियर वॉट कुड बी द लाइन और द एरिया ऑफ वर्क दैट वी मे चूज एंड वॉट कुड बी द सक्सेस और सक्सेस फैक्टर्स विच मे कम टू अस एंड वॉट आर द प्रोबेबिलिटीज ऑफ गेटिंग मोर मनी नेम फेम एजुलेशन और वी मे रन इन टू pitfalls or career may get into some challenges so we look at three or four factors one factor we look at is the 10th lot of the d1 chart and how it is placed where it is placed then we also see the 10th lot of the d9 chart the nonsa chart and we also take the help of the d10 chart the dashamsha chart and then when we are looking at in unison then we arrive at the most probable career we also look at the most probable results and we also look at what could be the final outcome in terms of name fame adulation so i've done a number of videos in terms of how do you see career through nakshatras how do you see the career through the 10th lord in different houses in the d1 chart then the d9 10th lord place in the d1 chart then we also looked at how you look at the d10 charts 10th lord place in different houses and then how do we see the connection between the d1 chart the d9 chart the d10 chart how we use the karakamsha and then also we use the arudha lagna so we have tried to see how through a number of factors we can arrive at what could be be the manifestation of the career what could be the final result and we do this because only one factor may not give you what the career could be just because the 10th lord is placed in a certain house may it not be that it is about the career it could be about the location for example if the 10th lord is placed in the 12th house then you can say this person may go abroad the person may work on a, in a foreign company or in foreign lands however if the second lord is getting connected to the 5th house then you can say the career may be connected to arts can be connected to education can be connected to finance so you see a number of factors put together and then you arrive that this person may work in finance arts accounts and may work in a foreign bank or in a foreign company or may go to a foreign country also and then you may strengthen that manifestation by seeing where venus is placed where the moon is placed where jupiter is placed because each one of these are the karakas of certain areas for example venus is surely the karaka of money because it rules the taurus sign jupiter is a advisor or a guide so jupiter and venus come together so this could be an advisor in the field of money or accounts but if saturn and mars are coming together strongly for example getting placed in the 10th house then you can say this person can be an engineer so only the 10th house lord may not give you where by the by the virtue of its placement what the career could be so number of factors have can be seen as coming together for example what is the type of work can also be seen through the 10th house for example is it a career service or a job or the person will be doing business or the nature of work will the person be working in a team environment or the person will be where you are working with three or four people or the person may work in partnership like in the business where you are working with one person or two person where everybody is pulling in their resources or you are doing sedentary work or solitary work that you are giving this work you better do or you are doing some contractual work for example then where is your focus where is your focus to get the resources is your focus money some people work for money is the focus to happiness that i want the job satisfaction some people want peace in their work they don't want to get into a line where they don't get the peace of mind some people may be looking at adulation name fame that i should be getting so different people's focus towards career may be different area then where is the place that you work are you going to work in your home country or are you going to work in the immediate neighborhood within the city that you are born in or you will be working in a foreign land or you may go maybe 2000 3000 4000 kilometers away from your place of birth but within the country and then how will the money come in how will the resources come in will the resources come in on a daily basis like a daily wage earner or somebody has a shop and the money comes in on a day to day basis or it is contractual money we whenever the contract will end when the work gets done the project gets completed then you get the money or you get a monthly salary or you get in parts say every 15th of the month you will go you will get so much money or you will get every quarterly so how will the money come in so all these things putting together a number of factors of the d1 lagna and the d9 
chart as well as the D10 chart you put together and you look at the various factors and eventually you come out with what could be the nature of work, which line you may be working, what will be your focus, where the money will be coming in and where will you work within your country or abroad. In this, the 10th lot of the D1 chart, when it is placed in the different houses in the D9 chart, that will tell you the outcome, the final outcome or the most probable outcome of the career. So, the 10th lot of the D1 chart's placement in which house it goes in the D9 chart will show the final outcome or the nature of outcome that the person will come will be getting or the type of outcome the person may be getting. Say for example, if the 10th lot of the D1 chart gets into the Lagna, the first house of the D9 chart. So here it means the outcome for the person or the most probable results will be through your work, you will be getting your name, fame, adulation, status in society or your reputation and stature in society will be strongly affected by the kind of work do you do, the nature of work you do and with what dedication you do, what commitment you do and whether you do it with ethical morals or you do something wrong. So, good or bad, eventually your status in society will be affected by the nature of work, the kind of work, the type of work you do. So, if the 10th house lot of the D1 chart gets into the Lagna in the D9 chart, so this will directly affect your reputation, your stature in society. If the 10th lot of the D1 chart gets into the second house of the D9 chart, so yeah, it shows that the focus of the person may be more money rather than any other resources. The other thing could also mean the person is working in a family oriented business also. We don't know what the career may be. The career may be connected to money, connected to finance. The 10th lot of the D1 chart's placement within the D1 chart will give you more details of that including the D10 chart. Here we are talking about what is the most probable outcome of the job, the nature of the job, the type of job. So the type of outcome or the nature of outcome you may get. So if it's in the second house, so you, you may get money, a lot of money may come in. What it will be the kind of work you may do? For that you will have to do an in-depth analysis of the, the 10th lot of the D1 chart placed within the D1 chart itself or along with the help of the D10 chart. Also this placement also shows whether the nourishment will be regular or not, whether there, there will be any blockages. Also will the person be able to save money or not because the 10th lot of the D1 chart has gone into the second house. However, it also means the more money will come in when you stick to your principles and values and the person, if he wants to make more money, he should stick to his principles or values. The other thing could also mean the nature of work could be connected to family business or family oriented business as well. Now, if the 10th lot of the D1 chart goes into the third house of your D9 chart, this means that the nature of work will be the person will have to put in a lot of hard work. The person will have to put in a lot of effort to be able to get more success in his or her work. And the nature of work could be connected to communication, interaction with people, reaching out to people, maybe marketing, maybe trying to influence people, maybe teaching, maybe guiding, maybe advising people. So some sort of communication orientedness, high effort, lot of hard work will be the backbone of the work and that will be the nature of the work that the person will do or the person may even do something of his own also because here it is about the third house. So the nature of work, the type of work the person may do will have to be seen from where the 10th lot in the D1 chart is placed. So for example, if the 10th lot of the D1 chart is placed in the 5th house of the D10 of the D1 chart itself. It means the person may work in the finance accounting field but because it is going into the third house of the D9 chart it means that the person will have to work hard while working in the accounts field to be able to get his remuneration to be able to get better output and in that the person may have to, to be able to influence people to be able to invest money in certain fields in certain areas. Maybe the person can be a stockbroker also and that's how you should be able to see the connection of the 10th lot of the D1 chart place in the D1 chart itself while placed in different houses in the D9 chart. Now if the 10th lot of the D1 chart goes into the 4th house of the D9 chart, this shows this the person will be more at peace, will be very happy, will feel very harmonious in his or her work environment. It could be other things, the work could also be connected to real estate, could also be connected to home improvement, the person may also be working out of his or her home, the person's work may also be connected to higher education, all these possibilities are 
possible or the person may also be connected to home improvement like home decor or real estate itself or building industry whatever may be but the nature of work will be the person will may still be able to get a lot of harmony a lot of peace of mind also or the person may love their work and because of it the person will feel at home when the person is at work when he is getting connected to work and maybe the person will also make assets through his work now if the 10th lord of the d1 chart gets into the 5th house of your d9 chart this means the person will try to do something which is connected to his or her likes or hobbies or what he or she is he will be interested in here we are not talking about the type of career itself whether the person will get into accounts whether the person will get into higher education whether the person will get into investments maybe any of the any of these fields may also be possible but one of the important things is this person will surely like the person work that he or she does if the person doesn't like the work that the person does then they will they should go into a line which they like or they should develop a liking for the work that they are already in they should find the good things of the work that they are already doing even if it's dull and boring through that be able to find more satisfaction job satisfaction because through that better results will come in now if the 10th lord of the d1 chart gets into the 6th house of the d9 chart this shows that the person may face competition or may feel competition at work may the person may feel that there is some or the other people are trying to spoil my work there are people who are behind my back they are always trying to create challenges for me create issues for me and they unnecessarily creating opposition to my work they are finding fault in my work and so this person when the person works may feel that kind of an environment or the person may go into a service orientation or may feel that i am happy to be able to serve this is my karma and this is i am happy to be able to connect it to work the person may have a service orientation of mind and may also like the competition for example if it's a sports person and if the 10th house of the 10th lord of the d1 chart gets into the 6th house then this person could maybe I mean, enjoy the competition if he is a sports person but definitely there will be competition the person will feel the competition in his or her mind and it will not be easy to get away the resources may come in from that if the 10th lord of the d1 chart is getting into the 7th house of the d9 chart so yeah it shows that the person for the person he or she is married to their work or they feel the most happiness they feel the most the most peace and harmony while at their work as if they don't need any any other partner their work is so enjoyable they get so amused or they get so happy while working they don't need anybody their best best partner is their work it's almost as if they are wedded to their work that can be an environment this will be more strongly manifested if the 10th lord if your of your d1 chart is placed in the 7th house of your d1 chart itself and is also placed in the 7th house of your d9 chart itself so this person may be almost like wedded to their work find a lot of harmony in their work they don't need any other partner or they may also work in a in a environment which which requires to work with partner or even the spouse may be connected to their work or they may find their spouse at work if the 10th lord of your d1 chart gets into the 8th house of your d9 chart so yeah it means the person will feel there are a lot of obstacles to the work or there is a lot of unstructured work environment there are sudden issues sudden challenges it is like somebody working in the emergency department or somebody working in the emergency response like flood relief or somebody like that or somebody working in the fire engine or fire brigade the fire response or working in the ambulance service service so something where the work is chaotic they don't know when what will happen sometimes the people who are working in the fire brigade they may be working for two days three days with no call for fire extinguishing suddenly they may get three four within a day if there is a storm heavy rainfall they may be working for 16 17 18 24 hour, hours also or if you are working in the hospitality industry in a five star hotel sometime if your reliever is not coming you may end up working for 16 18 hours also so there is something chaotic in your work or it could be transformational work you feel that you are able to transform people's life you are able to help other people's lives also so there will be something transformational or chaotic or the chaos may be in your mind you feel my work is chaotic you are pulled in various direction all the time now if your 10th lord if your d1 chart is in the 12th house in your d1 chart and now gone into the 8th house in your d9 chart then this could be the person is working in a hospital in a clinic and the person's environment is very chaotic or if the 10th lord of your d1 chart is in the 3rd house of your d1 chart but now in the 8th house of your d9 chart that means the person is always traveling lot of time because of traveling or because of marketing or attending seminars 
the person finds the work very chaotic and so the type of work may be marketing or going to seminars or maybe working in hospitals but the final output of the work could be very chaotic which the d9 chart represents now if the 10th lot of your d1 chart goes into the 9th house of your d9 chart so this shows that you will find that the work gives you a lot of learning you get a lot of satisfaction out of the learning that you do a lot of people want to work in an environment or in an area or in an industry or under a boss or under a manager where they will learn a lot so many times they may join an organization where even if the remuneration is not very high the earning is not very high but the output is very high in terms of the work experience that they go the work experience that they get so many times for example a lawyer a budding lawyer may want to work under a very famous criminal lawyer because of which they will get a lot of experience and that will add value to them that they have worked under such a well known criminal lawyer and so that adds value to the credibility also and other people may also want to employ such a lawyer because the person has experience working for such a well known criminal lawyer so such an environment may give the person a lot of satisfaction out of the work in terms of the learning experience also or they are working for a guru they are working for a ashrama they they are working in an educational environment or they are working some way is getting connected to advising people guiding people teaching people it could be a teacher itself or the person could also be publishing things publishing data my younger brother he worked for one of a telecommunication companies and his work at the end of the day was just to publish data he would be running analytics through the day how many sales are coming in and how many sales have been logged in and so he will be looking at final analysis of what kind of numbers they were looking at different regions and then publish data at the end of the day every day it was a job before midnight of the day he would have to publish the data so he felt it was very chaotic but it, he had, his work was to publish data at the end of the day because of which his 10th lord of your d1 of his d1 chart was in the 9th house of publishing in the d9 chart if the 10th lord of the d1 chart gets into the 10th house of your d9 chart this shows that the person's work is very karmic this means the person has a karmic thread attached to his nature of work so the person will be doing his karma because it is in the d9 chart a high manifestation of work so whatever he does he has to do it with a sense of strong sense of duty strong sense of responsibility attached to the work because this is a very karmic placement also and if the 10th lord of your d1 chart is in the 10th house in the d1 chart itself now also in the 10th lord in the 10th house of d9 chart this becomes a higher manifestation that the work is strongly connected to your sense of duty but you also doing your karma there is a karmic thread which is attached to your work and so you are doing that work and the person may also feel that the work is very structured very disciplined now whether the person enjoys the work or not is a separate thing because of which certain energy certain planetary energy is getting associated moon getting associated jupiter getting associated which is a secondary thing but yeah surely the person will feel i'm doing my karma i'm doing my duty a lot of people even if they don't enjoy the work they may feel that i'm doing a sense of duty i'm doing my karma this work is important and because of that they keep the motivation high to be able to do the work now if your 10th lord of your d1 chart is placed in the 11th house of your d9 chart which means there is a certain social thread which is getting connected to work there is either a societal cause that you are working with or there is a larger cause that you are working towards or you feel that you are working in a certain industry whichever industry you work whether you are working in the finance industry whether you are working as a lawyer whether you are working for a uh, animal healthcare or animal shelter whatever you are doing in your mind you are probably thinking that this is my sense of duty to society i am working for a societal cause i am sending because of my work as a lawyer i am sending criminals to jail i am cleaning up the society somebody is working in the fire brigade may feel i am working for the larger happiness and security of the masses because during emergency i am the first person to respond to them same thing an ambulance driver may also feel however though their sense of work is same but their kind of work the nature of work is very different or this person could also be working in a large corporation if not a large cause and through working a large corporation through that the person is eventually adding value to society or sometimes the person may feel that i have got friends at work the person likes to go to work because the person feels that the kind of people that i work with are all friends he or she feels work is fun work is enjoyable and they run to go to work every day because the work is so value adding the work is so much fun to them for somebody else the work for an outsider may be very very boring but maybe for a nuclear physicist who is running high impact physical experiments 
in his laboratory and is doing it for years every day may be something new that they're learning every day may be new output for them it may be fun so if the 10th lord of your d1 chart is in the 11th house of your d9 chart the fun the social element societal element thinking that you're working for friends or thinking that you're working for a large social cause or through a large corporation ending up working for a large social cause may come in. Now, if your 10th lord of your D1 chart is placed in the 12th house of your D9 chart, it means either you feel bogged down, solitary, alone and feeling lonely at work because you feel what is the kind of work or the nature of work is what keeps you in that environment. So, maybe you may, you may be even liking it or you feel that my nature of work is such that it goes all down the drain. It is like a person who is a priest or maybe a motivational speaker who sent to a correctional facility a jail to try and reform the people the inmates there in a jail but when they come out they all go back to the criminal lives and this person feels that the, there is no value add to my work all my work goes down the drain because whatever I work, work I do whatever I tell them whatever I teach them whatever motivational speech I give they all go out and become criminals again so the person feels my work goes down the drain there is no value to my work or I'm working for a lost cause or the person may be working in foreign lands but the nature of work surely will be how it is impacting the mindset also how it is impacting how the person feels about the work this person could also be working on the front of a country trying to defend his nation against the transgressions of another army or maybe working in isolation in hospital wards or clinics also but whatever may be the final career which you may be able to see from how where the tenth lord is placed in the d1 chart itself where the dashamsha lord is placed however but the placement of the tenth lord of your d1 chart in different houses of your d9 chart will tell what is the nature of work which is the type of work what is the output output of work and finally how does the person feel about his work as an output versus how many mental happiness, satisfaction, peace of mind or doing something which he loves to do or is interested in. So friends, check where your 10th lord of your D1 chart is placed in which houses it is in your D1 chart which will give you maybe a career line of work but its placement in the D9 chart will tell you what will be the outcome of the work, how you will you feel, how well you will be able to relate to the work, how you will feel at the end of the day, whether you are satisfied with the work or you feel the work is not going down the drain. So friend, like this video, share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me, please reach out to me at the link given below. Till some other time with some other video, this was your friend Astrology and Guide Defund signing off. Ciao.